All right, so just as a last follow-up on the Honda, we've got our faults with the oil tanner. What we're going to do is just confirm and go through with IHDS, which is the Honda dealer software. Um, IHDS will have a lot more data pits and a lot more options for us to test. Um, coming into hybrid electric vehicles and this newer sort of technology, or this is old now, but this newer technology, the aftermarket scan tools really lack, so Autel launch, things like that don't work too well. Um, I really struggle to see how shops are going to be able to diagnose and fix these cars properly without paying for subscriptions to dealer software and working off dealer software. They generally are the only sort of systems that work properly with these cars. So we've got the car hooked up at the moment. We're going to let IHDS do its thing and we'll go through the report, see what we've got, look at some live data bits just to back up our call that, that um, MPI has failed internally. All right, so we're looking through IHDS now just to have a look at some of our live data, our running live data in the hybrid control module. Um, as you can see, this is our battery temperature sensors, so we can see that our temp sensors all have a similar temperature reading across the board. Number four is a little bit high, um, and that's your temp sensor voltages there. That's good. Battery temperature is a massive, has a massive part to play in the hybrid high voltage battery playing up or being accurate. Um, scrolling through we can see that we've got <clears throat> and this is a, the good thing about those pids a lot of those pids will be unnamed or named incorrectly in auto or launch software when you're in dealer software it will give you a full description so this shows the IMA system is regenerative operation restricted or not so that's basically saying that the generator side of the high voltage system is restricted um, scrolling through we've got more and more pids everywhere history of our Inverters. Now this is our cell voltages. This is where it gets interesting. What you want to see across our battery, <coughs> our battery is that each individual cell has a similar voltage. Um, if we had one of these that was dropped down to, you know, 2.2 volts or something, and the other one was at 3.9 or 4 volts, and we know that there's a problem there. But 3.7 across the board is good. So we know our battery cells are still actually all right. <coughs> And then when we scroll down to here, we've got our inverter torque readings, our current reading. So that's our inverter voltage is at 50 volts at the moment. Um, the current sensor supply voltage is 5 volts. Gives you a bit of a reference as well. But this is just to highlight how important it is to use OE software for hybrid electric vehicles. Um, if I scroll through the Autel or the launch, well they are still great tools. You'll see a lot of the, these PIDs are missing. Even the ones that are there, <coughs> they're missing descriptions or they're labelled wrong. You know, even things like fan speeders will be labelled wrong or not labelled properly. Um, the duty percentage of the fans, things like that. Just all your main diagnostic data stuff you need to gather before you make a call on something. All right, just as a follow-up on our hybrid Civic with the failed MPI or the motor power inverter, um, they retail at 4,120 Australian excluding GST, but parts are now discontinued for this vehicle. So that essentially, I mean, essentially writes the car off. If, if you can't source a second-hand part, get it installed and, you know, programmed and coded, then unfortunately that's it for our older, older hybrid. Um, Sad thing is it's still a really nice car, the battery voltage is still fine, all the individual cells um, in the high voltage battery are still really good, they're well within spec, so it's still essentially a really good car, it's just, yeah, sourcing parts for these older hybrids is getting really hard and they're starting, or generally they are discontinued from the main dealer. Thank you.